Well, greetings. Today we are going to talk about suspicious emails again. And today we're specifically going to be looking at an email that is supposedly from something that looks like it's safe, but it has a suspicious attachment. And we want to find out if that attachment truly is safe or not. Case in point, here is an email I got from Xerox Work Center. Interesting spelling on center there. It's kind of British. And it was sent by OVPD.org. It wasn't really. We'll talk more about that later. And as you can see, it's got an attachment. This blue box here is all my other coworkers' emails that it went to. I just blocked that out because no need to have that up here. The attachment, as you can see, is scan-001 underscore 072, bunch of numbers, dot zip. It's a zip file. Now, you've probably seen a zip file before. Zip files are very handy. They're used for compressing a larger file into something a lot smaller, a lot more manageable, and it can be sent as an email attachment a lot easier that way. But how do we tell if this is a safe attachment or not? Fortunately, there's a website out there called VirusTotal.com, and they have a service called Scan. So you forward your email along with your zip attachment to scan at VirusTotal.com. The subject body, or I'm sorry, in the subject line here, just put scan, all capital letters, and in the message body, clear it out completely, nothing there. Send that off to them, and when they get done scanning it with all their different virus scanning software suites, you get a reply back, and that's kind of what it looks like. Here's the full email report, and I'll zoom in on this a little bit here. And it's pretty interesting stuff, as you can tell. It's got, it scans it with all the leading and probably some you've never heard of, virus softwares out there. And it's got antivir found tr.atraps.a.3782. And Comtouch tells us it found a Trojan. Dr. Webb says it found a Trojan. So obviously, probably not an attachment we should open if things called Trojan are involved with this. At the top here, there's something interesting called file data. It's got the name, obviously, the size, and these two things, MD5 and SHA-1, are hashing algorithms. MD5 and SHA-1 are both an algorithm that it takes the data of the file and it looks at it and out pops this signature. It's alphanumeric, a mix of numbers and letters, and that signature is unique to that file as it entered the algorithm. If you were to change one tiny piece of that file, it would be a completely different signature. And that's basically just a way of developing a unique, unique signature for that file. And that's how we can check suspicious email attachments.